Mukesh Diobai Omboni is an Indian billionaire businessman, and the chairman, managing director, and largest shareholder of Reliance Industries Limited, a Fortune Global 500 company and India's most valuable company by market value. According to Forbes, he is the richest person in Asia with a net worth of 90.3 billion US dollars and the 10th richest person in the world, as of the 12th of February 2022. Chapter 1 Early Life Mukesh Diobai Omboni was born on 19 April 1957 in the British Crown Colony of Aden to Diobai Omboni and Kokilaban Omboni. He has a younger brother Anil Omboni and two sisters, Nina Badrashyam Katari, and Deepti Dataraj Saljankar. Omboni lived only briefly in Yemen, because his father decided to move back to India in 1958 to start a trading business that focused on spices and textiles. The latter was originally named Vimal but later changed to only Vimal. His family lived in a modest, two-bedroom apartment in Buleshwar, Mumbai until the 1970s. The family's financial status slightly improved when they moved to India but Omboni still lived in a communal society, used public transportation, and never received an allowance. Diobai later purchased a 14-floor apartment block called Sea Wind in Kaloba, where, until recently, Omboni and his brother lived with their families on different floors. Chapter 2 – Education Omboni attended the Hill Grange High School at Padar Road, Mumbai, along with his brother and Anand Jain, who later became his close associate. After his secondary schooling, he studied at the St. Xavier's College, Mumbai. He then received a B degree in chemical engineering from the Institute of Chemical Technology. Omboni later enrolled for an MBA at Stanford University, but withdrew in 1980 to help his father build Reliance, which at the time was still a small but fast growing enterprise. His father felt that real life skills were harnessed through experiences and not by sitting in a classroom, so he called his son back to India from Stanford to take command of a yarn manufacturing project in his company. Omboni has been quoted as saying that he was influenced by his teachers William F. Sharp and Man Mohan Sharma because they are the kind of professors who made you think out of the box. Chapter 3 Career in 1981 he started to help his father Diobai Omboni run their family business, Reliance Industries Limited. By this time, it had already expanded so that it also dealt in refining and petrochemicals. The business also included products and services in retail and telecommunications industries. Reliance Retail Limited, another subsidiary, is also the largest retailer in India. Reliance's Geo has earned a top 5 spot in the country's telecommunication services, since its public launch on 5 September 2016. As of 2016, Omboni was ranked 36 and has consistently held the title of India's richest person on Forbes magazine's list for the past 10 years. He is the only Indian businessman on Forbes' list of the world's most powerful people. As of October 2020, Mukesh Omboni was ranked by Forbes as the sixth wealthiest person in the world. He surpassed Jack Ma, executive chairman of Alibaba Group, to become Asia's richest person with a net worth of $44.3 billion in July 2018. He is also the wealthiest person in the world outside North America and Europe. As of 2015, Omboni ranked fifth among India's philanthropists according to China's Huron Research Institute. He was appointed as a director of Bank of America and became the first non-American to be on its board. Through Reliance, he also owns the Indian Premier League franchise Mumbai Indians and is the founder of Indian Super League, a football league in India. In 2012, Forbes named him one of the richest sports owners in the world. He resides at the Antilia Building, one of the world's most expensive private residences with its value reaching $1 billion. Chapter 4, Timeline? Chapter 4 Section 1, 1980s-1990s In 1980, the Indian government under Indira Gandhi opened PFY manufacturing to the private sector. Diobai Omboni applied for a license to set up a PFY manufacturing plant. 
Obtaining the license was a long drawn-out process requiring a strong connection within the bureaucracy system because the government, at the time, was restricting large-scale manufacturing, making the importation of yarn for the textiles impossible. In spite of stiff competition from Tatars, Burlers and 43 others, Diobai was awarded the license, more commonly addressed as License Raj. To help him build the PFY plant, Diobai pulled his eldest son out of Stanford, where he was studying for his MBA, to work with him in the company. Omboni did not return to his university program, leading Reliance's backward integration, where companies own their suppliers to generate more revenue and improve efficiency, in 1981 from textiles into polyester fibers and further into petrochemicals, which the yarns were made from. After joining the company, he reported daily to Rajbhai Meswani, then executive director. The company was being built from scratch with the principle of everybody contributing to the business, and not heavily depend on selected individuals. Diobai treated him as a business partner allowing him the freedom to contribute even with little experience. This principle came into play after Rajbhai's death in 1985 along with Diobai suffering a stroke in 1986 when all the responsibility shifted to Omboni and his brother. Mukesh Omboni set up Reliance Infocom Limited, which was focused on information and communications technology initiatives. At the age of 24, Omboni was given charge of the construction of Patalganga Petrochemical Plant when the company was heavily investing in oil refinery and petrochemicals. Chapter 4 Section 2, 2000 S Present On 6 July 2002, Mukesh's father died after suffering a second stroke, which elevated tensions between the brothers as Diobai had not left a will for the distribution of the empire in 2004. Their mother intervened to stop the feud, splitting the company into two, Omboni receiving control of Reliance Industries Limited, and Indian Petrochemicals Corporation Limited, which was later approved by the Bombay High Court in December 2005. Omboni directed and led the creation of the world's largest grassroots petroleum refinery at Jamnagar, India, which had the capacity to produce 660,000 barrels per day in 2010, integrated with petrochemicals, power generation, port, and related infrastructure. In December 2013 Omboni announced, at the Progressive Punjab Summit in Mohali, the possibility of a collaborative venture with Bharti Airtel in setting up digital infrastructure for the 4G network in India. On 18 June 2014, Mukesh Omboni, while addressing the 40th AGM of Reliance Industries, said he will invest 1.8 trillion rupees across businesses in the next three years and launch 4G broadband services in 2015. Omboni was elected as a member into the National Academy of Engineering in 2016 for engineering and business leadership in oil refineries, petrochemical products, and related industries. In February 2016, Omboni led Geo launched its own 4G smartphone brand named Life. In June 2016, it was India's third largest selling mobile phone brand. The release of the service Reliance Geo Infocom Limited, commonly known as Geo, in September 2016 was a success, and Reliance's shares increased. During the 40th annual general meeting of RIL, he announced bonus shares in the ratio of 1 to 1 which is the country's largest bonus issue in India, and announced the Geo phone at an effective price of 0 rupees. As of February 2018, Bloomberg's Robin Hood Index estimated that Omboni's personal wealth was enough to fund the operations of the Indian federal government for 20 days. In February 2014, a first information report alleging criminal offences was filed against Mukesh Omboni for alleged irregularities in the pricing of natural gas from the KG Basin. Arvind Kariwal, who had a short stint as Delhi's chief minister and had ordered the fur, has accused various political parties of being silent on the gas price issue. Keriwal has asked both Rahul Gandhi and Narendra Modi to clear their stand on the gas pricing issue. Keriwal has alleged that the centre allowed the price of gas to be inflated to $8 a unit though Mukesh Omboni's company spends only $1 to produce a unit, which meant a loss of 540 billion rupees to the country annually. Chapter 5 Board Memberships Member of Board of Governors Institute of Chemical Technology, 
Mumbai. Chairman, Managing Director, Chairman of Finance Committee and Member of Employees, Stock Compensation Committee, Reliance Industries Limited. Former Chairman, Indian Petrochemicals Corporation Limited. Former Vice Chairman, Reliance Petroleum. Chairman of the Board, Reliance Petroleum. Chairman and Chairman of Audit Committee, Reliance Retail Limited. Chairman, Reliance Exploration and Production DMCC. Former Director, Member of Credit Committee and Member of Compensation and Benefits Committee, Bank of America Corporation. President, Pandit Deendale Petroleum University, Gandhanaga, Gujarat. Chapter 6, Awards and Honors. Chapter 7, Personal Life. He married Nita Omboni in 1985 and they have two sons, Akash and Anant, and a daughter, Aisha, who is Akash's twin. They met after his father attended a dance performance which Nita took part in and thought of the idea of arranging a marriage between the two. They live in Antilia, a private 27-story building in Mumbai, which was valued at 1 billion US dollars and was the most expensive private residence in the world at the time it was built. The building requires a staff of 600 for maintenance, and it includes three helipads, a 160-car garage, private movie theater, swimming pool, and fitness center. In 2007, Omboni gifted his wife a $60 million Airbus A319 for her 44th birthday. The Airbus, which has a capacity of 180 passengers, has been custom-fitted to include a living room, bedroom, satellite television, Wi-Fi, sky bar, jacuzzi, and an office. Omboni was titled the world's richest sports team owner after his purchase of the IPL cricket team Mumbai Indians for $111.9 million in 2008. In an interview with Rajdeep Sardasai in March 2017, he said that his favorite food continued to be Idli Sambar and his favorite restaurant remains Mysore Cafe a restaurant in King's Circle where he used to eat as a student at UDCT. Mukesh Omboni is a strict vegetarian and teetotaler. He is a very big fan of Bollywood movies, watching three a week because he says you need some amount of escapism in life. During the fiscal year ending 31 March 2012, he reportedly decided to forego nearly 240 million rupees from his annual pay as Chief of Reliance Industries Limited. He elected to do this even as RIL's total remuneration packages to its top management personnel increased during that fiscal year. Mukesh Omboni holds a 50.4% stake in the company. This move kept his salary capped at 150 million rupees for the fourth year in a row. In early 2019, a court in Mumbai held his younger brother, Anil Omboni, in criminal contempt for non-payment of personally guaranteed debt reliance communications owed to Swedish gearmaker Ericsson. Instead of jail time, the court gave Anil a month to come up with the funds. At the end of the month, Mukesh bailed out his younger brother, paying the debt.